God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. You're watching Miracle Temple Church of Deliverance located 601 West Solace Brown Street where the pastor is Dr. T.J. Calhoun. You're at the right place at the right time. You're at the right place at the right time this morning. You're at the right place this morning. Amen. If you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time, you can be at the right place at the right time. You're at the right place this morning. I'm telling you right now, you're at the right place this morning. Amen. God bless you this morning. We praise the Lord for our man of God who teaches us the true word of the Lord. I know you pray for Pastor Calhoun as, as um, he pray for you. Let's pray one for another. We praise the Lord for the man of God. Amen. Amen. We praise the Lord for the man of God. Amen. We praise the Lord for the man of God. We praise the Lord for Mother Jones this morning. We praise the Lord for Mother Jones this morning. Amen. Mother Mother Amos, God bless you this morning. Mother Georgia Jones, Georgia, uh, Jones this morning. God bless you. Amen. Mother Carolyn this morning. Hey, Calhoun this morning. God bless her. Amen. Mother, amen. The Sunday schools are off to a, a booming. Amen. God bless y'all for, for coming to Sunday school. Amen. For bringing to coming to Sunday school. Yeah, we look out here at 8 o'clock and see cars in the parking lot. God bless you. Amen. Your blessings are tied to being obedient too. People don't understand that. The instructions you allow, the instructions you take, uh, directly tied to uh, uh, blessings. Amen. 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 And you're, 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 you're honoring instructions. Amen. Amen. And you, and you that bring your children to Sunday school. And you're like, well, I don't. Well, you get them up in the morning time for school. Yes, you do. Yeah, if you don't, you're trifling mama, a trifling daddy. That's why they're flunking out, because you're too trifling for them to pass. If you don't get them up for school, I know that's right. Amen. Because you know part of, part of passing is just showing up. Part of succeeding in life is just showing up. Part of being successful is just showing up. If you can just show up, you can be successful. Just show up. You just show up. You can be successful. Amen. Amen. And, and take instructions. You know what the Bible said and said? That a fool can't take instructions. That, that, the Bible said that. It said that. Amen. Hey, next Sunday is Easter Sunday. Won't you come and you and your family be a part of us? Easter Sunday. Together, let's celebrate Easter Sunday. Amen. We invite you and your family to be with us Easter Sunday. Amen. Amen. You have a special in invitation to be with us Easter Sunday. Amen. Give the Lord just a big hand offering for what he's doing. Come on, give the Lord a big hand offering. Come on, give the Lord a big hand offering. Give, come on, give the Lord a big hand. Come on, come on, come on. Come, give the Lord a big hand offering. Come on for blessing you. Amen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give the Lord a big hand offering. Oh, is he good? Is he good? Is he good? Come on, is he good? Has he been good to you? All week, has he been good to you? Come on, did he provide for you? Did he protect you? Amen. Is Kenji, Kenji, is Kenji here? Kenji, send me, it's Kenji here. Kenji, send me a text. Come on, Kenji, come here. Kenji, Kenji, send me a text message this mo uh, uh, Monday morning. Kenji sent me a text message Monday. Come on, Kenji, come here real, real quick. Come here. Uh, come here. Kenji sent me a text. Come here, Kenji, come here. Can't you send me a text message? To, uh, 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 she says, um, come on, you say it for yourself, too. <laughs> this early, she said, this early, you shouldn't have sent a text message because you know 
if you're going to say it, you've never been. Because somebody, the reason why we share this is somebody's faith needs to be built. That you overcome your, your, it's not about just us. It's about somebody need to hear what happened. Amen? Amen. Come on, share your testimony real fast. Saturday night, last Saturday night. And he um, texted me here, I was in the church, he said, friend, um, do you have any more of your oil? I was like, no, because you got the last bite off my bed. He said, well, uh, yeah, I did get it, I used it up, so do you have some more? I said, yeah, I have one bottle left. He said, well, can you bring it to me? I said, where are you? He said, well, I'm in uh, St. Dominic's Hospital. I said, well, what happened? I said, what's wrong? He said, well, I had a heart attack last night. He said, I woke up with a strange um, feeling in my body, and I went to the hospital, and, you know, they told me whatever number it was, and he had suffered a heart attack. He said, well, can you bring it to me? I said, well, yeah, I'll bring it to you. I said, I will get prayer for you, too. He said, thank you. So I brought the um, oil up there. He said, um, I'm going to rub it all over my body. I said, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. So he rolled all over his head, his chest, his uh, legs, feet, or whatever. His blood pressure was 209 over 193 or something like that. Mm. They ran tests. They did the stent. He said that it was supposed to have been one blockage, but it was three. So they put a stent in his chest, ran more tests with his blood work. And, oh, I forgot. He said he, he drunk the oil, too, right? So he, uh, they went in for test Monday morning, said his numbers was uh, clear, his blood pressure was clear, um, his kidney levels was up, his heart rate was fine, so he was discharged uh, Monday morning. Okay, now, look at God. <laughs> look at God. He had a heart attack. He had a heart attack. He had enough sense to ask for some oil. Yeah. She had one bottle of oil. She took the oil, and Monday he was discharged. Yeah. Look at God. You better get you a bottle of oil. <laughs> I know I got my bottle of oil. I'm telling you right now, I know I got my bottle of oil. Uh, who was Mona? You said you got your ball in your purse. Everywhere. I know somebody sit there and said they want a job. A point they want a job. They sprayed it on the door of the job. Um, uh, beneath it, they sprayed it on that person's door. And, and they, they put in on knowing the door. Somebody said they was up there wanted a house, and they went and put it on the, in the yard of the house. Somebody 401k was going, the investment was going down, and they went and put pulled it on. And Mona, I just, I've been putting it everywhere. <laughs> I've just, I've been saying, look at God. Tell somebody, saying, look at God. Come on and say, won't God do it? Come on and say, won't he do it? Come on, 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 say, won't he do it? Come on, come on, when you can say it, won't he do it? Come on, you can say it, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Come on, you better open your mouth, he's gonna feel it. Oh, won't he do it? Come on, come on, he wants to feel it. Open your mouth and say it, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Well, I don't have nothing to say. But let me just tell you this. You have not because you ask not. He said, he said, he said, he said, open your mouth here, Billy. He said, he said, you know, he, listen to me. Listen to me, he said. He said, uh, you got to sit here and you got to declare and you got to claim it. Amen. He said, and when you say it, angels go to work for you. Angels hearken to the words of the Lord. Amen. Come on and say, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Come on, 
on, come on. Won't he do it? Oh, you can do it. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Let me just tell you, you have what you say. Some of us wondering why we don't have it because we ain't saying nothing. We looking at other folks have it, then we, you know, we wondering why we don't have it. And we saying God is not working for me because you're not doing your part. And, and some stuff is just real simple. Tithe and then give it. Confess it. Believing that God's going to do it. Amen. I believe God's word this morning. I really believe God's word. Tell somebody I believe God's word. I t tell somebody I believe his word. I believe his word. Come on, tell me I believe God's word. I believe God's word. If God said it, that sells it. That's, that sells it. You want to uh, give, give a fine, give a fine, go to give a fine, give a fine. You figure out how to give, go to give a fine, give a fine. People say, how do I give online? It's give a fine, go to give a fine. Immediately uh, at the, after the offering, we have a Holy Communion this morning. Immediately after the offering, some, sometimes people leave after the offering, stay around uh, and, and, and enter into the Holy Communion with us. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's worship, brother. Come on, come on, let's worship the Lord. Come on, to put your hands together. Let's bless the Lord. Oh, yes. Come on, let's thank the Lord. It's what a wonderful testimony for the all. God is doing great things for every one of us. Come on, and tell the Lord, he's been good to me. Good and that's me. why we're going to sing praises to the name of the high. Tell the neighbor I'm going to sing praise to his name. Come on and sing it like you love the Lord this morning. He's wonderful. And he's worthy to be praised. How many of you know the Lord is worthy to be praised? Just intend the presence of the Lord. Tell the praise to see your name. Lord. For his name is great and greatly to be praised. sing praises to your name oh lord praises to your name oh lord for your name is great and greatly to be praised. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord, praises to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Come on, with your hands. I sing praise. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Praise is to Praise your name. Your oh, Lord. 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 Oh, Oh, 
Oh, come on, lift your hands and lift your voice up there. Come on, lift your hands and worship it. I sing praises. I sing praises. To your name. No difference yeah. what you're going through. You're gonna make it. God's gonna see you through. Hold your head up. 
Put a smile on your face. This is another test. It won't last always. Get ready. Get ready. For your blessing. For your blessing. Get ready. Get ready. For your miracle. For your miracle. Get ready. Get ready. For your blessing. For yes, your Lord. blessing. Get ready. Get ready. For your miracle. For your miracle. Listen. I know you've been hurting deep down inside. How many of you did? Uh, let me encourage you. It's going to be all right. Yeah. Trouble than triumph. Come to make you strong. You keep on believing. Keep on holding on. Get ready. Get ready. For your blessing. For your blessing. Get ready. Get ready. For your miracle. For your miracle. Get ready, get ready for your blessing, for your blessing. Get ready, get ready for your miracle, for your miracle. Thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna look at the name and tell me God's got a blessing with my name on it. How many of you truly believe that the Lord got a blessing? He's blessing up right now, but listen, God's got a blessing. God got a blessing. Oh, look at somebody next to you and tell him this: God's got a blessing. God got a blessing. Tell them one more time, say, God got a blessing. God's got a blessing. One more time, tell him, God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. Oh, yeah. God's got a blessing. 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 With your name on it. 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 Yes, sir. Come on, say it with me. With my name on it. 
Come on, say it with my name. With my name on it. With my name on it. With my name on it. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, clap your hand and bless the Lord that the pastor comes in. Jesus, wonderful God, wonderful Lord, yes, Lord, let us pray, oh my God, we thank you for the day of deliverance, the hour of victory, look upon every soul that's in the day, bless them, oh God, bless your people around the world, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, glory, Woo. May have you see your pastor McCann. Amen. We praise God for his goodness and mercy, kindness, love, tender compassion. Another day, blessed to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Can you say amen? Thank God for his goodness. Amen. Thank God for his mercy. Amen. Thank God what he's doing, how God is blessing in these services. Can you say amen again? Oh, my God. We thank God. Our God, whom we serve, is a good God. Mighty God. I said, what a mighty God we serve. Can you say amen? Thank God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank God. Amen. We do. And we're still praying for the people that were incarnated. Amen. They lost everything. We pray for them that God would bless them. Amen. In fact, amen, we had a lot of folks out there praying for those folks. They're praying. 615,509 people were praying for. 600,000 people were praying for. That, that's good, eh? You get 600,000 people, 615,509 people praying for people. That's good. Then we thank God, amen, praise God for, amen. Brother Percy's testimony, amen. You know, people want to hear something and see what God is doing. And, amen. That's why it's good you give a testimony, that you put in a testimony. Can you say Amen. But Brother Puss is testimony about his sister on last Sunday, 325,985 people got their testimony. They were listening. That's a lot of folks around the world. 325,985. Well, God is good. Whew. God is so good. Amen. Thank God for the people. People that are going to be praying with us for tonight. People that are going to be praying with us. Lots of people are praying there. 170,861 one hundred people. 170,000 people are going to be praying with us. Around the four corners of the earth tonight. Amen. Amen. So I think we, we let us stand for this one. Let's stand for this. Come on, let's stand. Amen. Reading so many poses. <laughs> it's, it's good. You know what God is doing. God is blessing. Can you say amen? God is blessing. Let's thank him for for hands. Come on, give God. Thank him. Come on. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Amen. Thank him, amen. We reached, amen, 20, 23 million. Whew. 23 million people. 
was riding a folk on there. Hey, 20 million left, we went up with another 3 million. Let's pray for those souls. Uh, we pray again, amen. Believe in God. That's a lot of folks, isn't it? 23 million. That's a lot of folks. Can you say amen again? Amen. But let's pray that God will bless the people. Amen. Look like we get, every time we pray, let like God do a little more. Let's pray that God will bless them. Can you say amen? Father God, we come now on behalf of the people that God that wish you were on last Sunday. We ask to bless them on their lives and upon their families. And I will stretch forth our mighty hands and touch and open their hearts up to receive the word of God. Lord, we ask you to open up doors and ways around the four corners of the earth that we may reach the whole world in the name of Jesus. Bring healing, deliverance, salvation, and victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, God. Whew. You may have your seat, your pastor, but can we? We're so blessed and so thankful. Amen. That we're reaching so many folks. Amen. God is good. That may not be a lot of folks to most folks, but it's a lot of folks to us, 23 million people. Amen. We thank God for it. Can you say amen? Amen. DJ, we're getting there. I'm going to get that 30 million, look like, though. Yes, indeed. God is good all the time. We thank God for his goodness and mercy and kindness. And amen. And we've been down in the word of God. And I know. Amen. It's serious. The word of God is serious. The Bible says that going to come a day of family. Not for bread, not for water, but for the word of God. Family for the word of God. Family for the truth of the word of God. Can you say amen? Amen, amen, for the truth of the word of God. Amen, and we talked about that wisdom on last weekend. Amen, amen. Knowledge, can you say amen? Amen, and when you think about that, and amen, let me say amen. Don't throw what you got away now, but think about it, amen, you can. <laughs> when you get ready to come to the Lord, to receive miracles and signs, you're going to have to come in a spiritual mouth. Huh? To get the things that you really need, they're not really natural. It's spiritual. Huh? And you, you look at it and say, I said, to get what you really need out of life is not natural. It's spiritual. You may use it on natural means. Huh? Because God revealed it to you through the Spirit. Huh. God revealed this thing to you through the Spirit and give you that spiritual wisdom. Spiritual wisdom. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And that's what the church is all about. The church is not about the natural, it's about the spiritual. And that's why we go to church, because we can get something. That's why you have your children in Sunday school so they can get something spiritual. Huh. See, when you really think about what we're saying, is, and I know you look at me and think I'm crazy, but the thing that you get in the nature is only have a limitation to it. It's limit. Anybody that can have it, nature. But the thing that you get in the spirit is supernatural. Huh. Anybody can't have that. <laughs> and I'm going to start off with amen with my lesson today. And I'm amen. I'm really amen. And I'm going to say John, amen, the 14th chapter, verse 8, verse uh, 26. I mean, this is going to be kind of what wisdom is all about. What wisdom is all about. Verse 26 of this 14th chapter. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, 
whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. See, that, that's where the wisdom comes. That's where, where wisdom and knowledge come huh? through the Holy Ghost. For he can teach you all things. See, natural wisdom don't teach you all things. But spiritual wisdom teach you all things. The Holy Ghost teach you all things. And bring all things to your remembrance. Amen. That's what you got that's why I was trying to get it to you. Amen. Gotta amen. Let you know what we're talking about. See. You amen all things. See. When you talk about all things, the Holy Ghost can teach you how to be blessed by picking up cans. The Holy Ghost can teach you how to be blessed by milking cows. The huh? Holy Ghost can teach you how to be blessed by being a hunter. Fishman. See, they, they, we look at it and think, amen, wisdom is only in the factory. Wisdom can be anywhere the Holy Ghost can teach you. And that's why he said, teach you all things. Wherever in life you are, you can be taught how to be blessed. Huh? I know you said, I said, wherever you are in life and whatever you're doing in life, you can be taught how to be blessed. Huh? Because, you see, a lot of times, amen, we go through life and, and do the same thing, praise God. We just take it for granted. The Holy Ghost teach you how to make a milk out of it. This is what, that's why it said all the things. That's why we take things lightly. Because, you, you know, we say, well, you know, I got to do this. Do no, no, you can. Uh, people that baking, uh, they, it will reveal to them how to bake. You know, this is why you need to be in church. Because you need to get some a new revelation. How to operate. See, that new thing is how to operate. You're a businessman. You need new revelation. Because if you still ain't got nothing but that old one, it's going to run out. It gets stale on you. Got to get some new. New knowledge. New wisdom. That would make things go on if you got to have something new. And that would be that the Holy Ghost would teach you all things and then bring all things you remember. In the book of Second Corinthians, uh, first, uh, Second Corinthians, I mean First Corinthians, Amen. Second chapter, Amen. And this is Paul is talking and Peter teaching and talking about wisdom, talking about God, what God, how it worked. He said. I determined not to know anything about you, say, Jesus Christ and him crucified. I will whip you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. My speech and my preaching was not with entire words of man's wisdom. But in demonstration of the power of the of spirit of and of power. The demonstration, praise God, of the spirit and of power. See, that, that, that power. Not just with man's wisdom, but demonstration. Huh? And of power. See. Amen, praise God. Amen. That's something to think about, isn't it? That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of what? Men. See what I'm talking about? But in the 
power of God. And stop standing with, with them. <laughs> Your faith, that what man can do. See, because man is limit. And he's saying here, your faith should be in the power of God. What God can do. And what God can do, there's nothing impossible that God can't do. You know, nothing impossible. Amen. Praise God. And your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. How bid we speak wisdom among those with them that are perfect. Now, I tell y'all, see, now, what you got to do if you want to be blessed, you got to do some giving up. Now, man teach you, you can't be perfect. But you can't get the best of God unless you're perfect. Isn't that amazing? And that means you got to do some surrounding. Some fasting and some praying. See, the more you give up, and the more you surrender yourself to God, is the more you're going to get out of God. See? A lot of times people say, you do what you want to do, enjoy your head, praise God. No, no, you got to be sincere with God. Huh. You got to be sincere with God. Amen. But you can't get there. The Bible says Abraham was a friend of God. They went on to say, hey, praise God. I bet we speak with them of them that are perfect. That means people, best of your knowledge, you're going to have to give up if you really want the best out of life. You got to live the best life. The best life. Best life. Can't just live a old regular life and, and get God's blessing. Huh? You got to be perfect. In other words, best of your knowledge. Huh? You can't be sinning and know you're sinning, willfully sinning, and be blessed. And that way it said be perfect. Now, you be perfect like the other people. No, no, it doesn't mean that your life is lit. Without the point of the finger. Ain't nobody here pointing their finger at you. Live in the best of your knowledge. Huh? If anybody talking about you, they're lying. They ain't telling the truth. You see what I'm talking about? And then you can go to God and get what you want. Huh? See, what you do. What you get from God is for you. Huh. And what you, amen, see, you're going to reap the benefit according to how much of you you give up to God. I know you're not helping me because you don't drink. You're not helping me because you don't commit fornication. You ain't helping me. I ain't getting no feeling out of it. And they ain't hurting me because you commit fornication. That's hurting you. See, what you do in life, it either benefits you or it hurts you. You're blessed by it or you're hurt by it. So you're not hurting the preacher. You're not hurting the church. You're only hurting yourself. And I'm up here not Amen. To help you be blessed. You get it? Amen. I'm not up here to, amen, say, well, you know, you can do what you want to do and get your blessing. No, ain't no, ain't no tell that lie. You go ahead and give up. Lay some at the altar. Surrender something. Uh-uh. Amen. And yet you can have a better time in a, than the folks that had out there doing everything. It ain't no sad life living for God. It's a joyful life. Amen. 
I mean, we repeat the wisdom among them which are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world. See? Repeat the wisdom of them, yet not the wisdom of this world, not this world of wisdom. We're talking about. Because this world of wisdom got you where you are. It got jobs you got. It got the house you got. But if you want to get more than you got, you're going to have to get God's wisdom. Because you're going to have to bypass man. Because man ain't told you what he's going to give you. Huh? He ain't going to give you no more. He told you he's going to give you uh, uh, $7 an hour. That's all he's going to give you. He told you he's going to give you $20. That's all he's going to give you. If he tell you he's going to give you $100, that's all he's going to give you. Huh? So that's it. And that's why you, when you get mad with them, you, you already know what you're going to get on Friday. <laughs> you don't. Can you say man? But when you get God's wisdom, don't nobody know what you're going to get. Don't even the boss may know what you're going to get. The people that work inside, side by side of you, don't know how much you got more than they got. See, you can work right by side of a person and he getting one thing and you get another one. Because you got something he ain't got. And, and that's why we're looking at it, amen, the man that prayed and got wisdom from God and woke up. Uh, you know what? People pay you for what you know. That's all. They pay what you know. You don't know nothing, you don't get nothing. <laughs> well, there people tell you that you don't need the honey. You get paid for what you know. And that's the way it works. And that's why when God's wisdom come in, amen, you know more than the next person. That means you got a better, you get more money. You make more money back. Get it? And you can, and the only way you can get more than he got, you got to have more God than he got. Huh? Because to get a better job, you got to have more wisdom. And not the only you got to have more wisdom, but you got to keep getting more wisdom. Can't get wisdom, it gets stale on you. He fired you. No matter why people get fired, they get fired because they ain't done nothing. They've been the same thing they did when they first started, they still done it, so they fired them. That's why they fired the coaches on the, uh, when they, uh, just to get to the finish the game, they fired them because doing the same thing. Huh? In this world to be blessed, you got to come up. Every day with something new. And only God can give you something new. Get it? And that's what Paul was trying to teach us, amen. Not to wisdom that was, but wisdom of the cup of God. That is what he said it. Amen. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes. Of this world that come to know by the prince of love, not what man give you. Come to know all that stuff come to know. Only thing that lasts and get better and better is God's wisdom and God's knowledge. Is what I'm trying to teach you today. It get better. Huh? Amen. Come to know. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. And that's what gets you some money. A mystery. Somebody trying to figure out which got and where you got where you got it from. Huh? We speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Tell somebody something nobody know about. 
And every people that have business, they have that nine o'clock meeting. Well, you know, tell some, some press they got. Get the board together to have them some fresh. I picked up some fresh on the weekend. And I found out I found out another way that we can make more money. That's what the business meeting all about. Find out another way how you can sell more cars. How you sell more clothes. Huh. So the mystery was what we're gonna do today. Go do something different. Put some of this stuff on sale. Then some of this stuff we're gonna put on sale. Amen. So this is what wisdom is all about. Doing something nobody else can do. That's why you make money. Amen. Just when well, you just want what other folks got, you ain't gonna get no more than they got. That's all you're gonna get. Because you just, well, I don't want nothing more she got. What he got. Well, you got to want more than what he got, more than what she got. Huh? Come on. Come on, you said, well, well, I can be just a doctor. Well, you also can be a head doctor, too. The Bible says he makes you the head, not the tail. Huh? So you can be the head and not the tail. Come on. Nurse, you can be a, a head nurse. Huh? Top. Teacher, you can be a, a head teacher. And always people going to do, go, they're going to get the one that has the more wisdom. I don't care how people look at it. Amen. Behind closed doors, they're going to get by talking about the person that knows the most. Can you say amen? And that's why you got to get this stuff from God. You got all you got all you could out of college. You got all you could out of grade school, high school, and doctor's room. And you want to get some more, you got to go to God. Come on, you can have more. There's no limit what you can have in life. But if you stop where you, st <laughs> where everybody else stop, <laughs> uh -uh. then that's all you're going to get. That's what I'm trying to say. All you're going to get if you stop with everybody else, but you can't stop with everybody else, you got to seek God for more. Seek God for something somebody else ain't got. Seek God for something somebody else is not doing. Seek God for something else. Amen. Something else. That's all it is. But we speak the wisdom of God's a mystery. Even the hid wisdom. Hidden wisdom. Hidden wisdom. This stuff is hid. Can you say amen? That would make you a CO. That would make you a manager hit stuff. Huh? Something nobody else knows. That would make you a lawyer and win a case. You got something nobody else got. Huh? Hidden, hidden wisdom. Wisdom and hid. Don't nobody else know about. And this is what Paul was trying to teach the church that there was some hidden stuff that don't nobody else know in the church. He's just a preacher. He said, you preach, preach give some hidden wisdom with that preaching. <laughs> but I said, I want to do what he done. No, you don't want to do what he done. You, you want to do something he's not doing. Hidden yeah. wisdom. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even a hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the before the world unto his glory, to our glory. God ordained it for the world 
the stuff that you get already here. And God ordained it before he made the world. And for our glory. God, glory, hallelujah. Some stuff that Abraham didn't get. Abraham didn't get everything. He could have got more. Right? That no man ever lived on earth could not have been better. Solomon got wisdom, but he could have got more. Come on, anybody can get, you can go a little bit further. Push it. Got to press it. Press it. Kind of like running a race. You run fast as you can today. And the coach tell you, run a little fast tomorrow. You can do better. It's, it, it's something more in you. Huh? No matter how fast you run, you can run a little faster. Huh? No matter how strong you are, you can build your muscles up and get a little more strong. Huh? So you got to realize that, that no matter what you're doing, you're going to be better at it. And that's what wisdom is all about, Paul said, uh, amen, that the wisdom that we get, God ordained it before he made the world. That somebody on this earth will come here and get something worthwhile out of life. Amen. That he would come here, amen, and uh, nobody make us somebody. That's what God is out to make us somebody. Nobody. But God want to make us somebody. Uh, not just the church members. Church is good to go to church. Good to shout. Thank God for shouting. Praise God. Hallelujah. Speaking in tongues is all right. But you need to get some more in tongues. Hidden wisdom, hidden knowledge, huh? Something that you can't get, something nobody else can't get. Can you get it, man? Amen. This is what he says here. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Glory. See, none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it. They would not have crucified the Lord of glory. If the world had knew this, they wouldn't have crucified Jesus. Huh? If the devil had knew that Jesus was going to rise again, huh? that he was going to take all power and authority away from him, he wouldn't have crucified. But the reason he crucified him because he didn't have no wisdom to know that he was only benefiting, blessing Jesus by crucifying him. Huh. He came into the other world to die, but the devil didn't know that. So, to, and, uh, so we, none of the prince of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of, of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen, not yet heard, not having entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Your eyes ain't seen them. They ain't made all the stuff that you can have in life. It ain't got in your heart yet. You ain't even thought about it. Some of the stuff that you're going to get out of life. Huh? You hadn't even thought about it. You can't even imagine, amen, in your lifetime what God's going to do, how God's going to bless you. You ain't can't. Yeah. <laughs> you say, I have not seen. Glory to God. I, you ain't never seen it. Nobody, what he said, Paul, it hasn't been made yet. Don't nobody have the good stuff God going to give you. You'll come out with something nobody have but you. Oh, Lord Jesus. Isn't that a blessing? 
You say think about it, say, well, you know, everybody else, oh, my God. Hey, I got the best car in town. I don't know about that. Somebody else I roll on something like that. Why? Something ain't nobody seen for. <laughs> it's what he said, praise God. Amen. But as it's written, I have not seen. Now you heard, not at the end of the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. That's what full time. Get wisdom, you know what you're gonna get. Huh? You know what you're gonna have in life. What the main is God revealed to us. Full time. Some of the good stuff you'll get out of life. Huh? Amen. So that's why wisdom is all about. So wisdom is something that you know some of it before time. Some of it you know what your future holds. You about, you about know what you'll get out of life when you get up in the morning time. Get up in the morning, lay down, and don't say your prayer. You about know where you're going to get. <laughs> you about know what you're going to get out of life. If you get up in the morning and get on your knees or get in your prayer room and say your prayer, you about know what you're going to get out of life. You're going to get some good out of life. Life's going to be good to you. Y'all believe I said life's going to be good to you. Amen. I didn't see, praise God. Listen to what he said. But God had revealed unto us by his spirit. For the spirit such as all things. Spirit. Now listen, we know not how to pray for what we should pray at all to. But the spirit such as all things. Huh. That's what, what, what's going on? The spirit such as out of life, what you going to have in life. Not only let you that, but the spirit let you know what you can do best in life. Huh? It let you know what you came up. And what you can do in life. And then it let you know what you can get out of it by what you do. See what I'm talking about? So he let you know what you're going to get out of it, praise God, before you get into it. <laughs> the spirit such as all things, the best. The man don't know the best for you. But the spirit knows the best for your life. How I many understand that? Some people lose all their lifetime going to school and don't use none of the stuff to get out of it. He done went to school 12 years and they ain't used none of it. It won't work for him. None of that stuff we you got our life won't even work. <laughs> won't even work for him. Amen. They ain't probably been in school for 12 years and they ain't got nothing out of it. That's just the way I'm trying to say it. He didn't get nothing that was worked for. But the Bible said the spirit searches all things. The spirit knows all things and lets you know what you can get out of life and what you need to be studying. I do what I'm looking for. I know y'all look at me. Man told me years ago, and I was amazed. I was a different little man. He was so right. But this white man that we were renting from, he said to me, amen, and, that, and that's a long time ago, teach your children, tell your children, amen, study computer. Computer. Huh? And he told me that. So that's, and, 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 and that was been 50 or 60 years ago for Paul. He said, that's where the money going to be at, in computer. 
I told them. Didn't do them no good. They did what they wanted to do. But they could have saved themselves from waste of lost time if they had to put a lot of study in a computer. And computer done took over. Internet. Can you say that? It's over. Kobe opened up our eyes at the internet. We'd have an eight man, 15 or 20 people in proud me. Now we got a meal. <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to get to see? But it's because we followed, God kept revealing to us something new. DJ kept getting new machines. <laughs> we're going to get some more new stuff, too. Yeah. It costs money, but we just got and the, But the Bible did say, buy wisdom and sell it not. Buy. Get you some wisdom. Buy a book. Everyone you see, a teacher something, buy it. That's where I did Boy, every time I see a good book, boy, I like I bought it. Ain't no lie, I bought every book I could find. Every one that was on the survey that I was preaching on, I bought it. I tried to get that book. <laughs> Can you say, man? But that's what you got to do. The survey that you want to know about, you need to buy. Ain't nobody going to give you nothing good. You don't get good stuff for nothing. Good stuff going to cost you. Anything worthwhile going to cost you. Huh? It said, but in the midnight hour, you're going to cost you to get good stuff out of life. Amen. Well, let me just go a little further. Now, y'all read this over later. Amen. But God had revealed him unto us by his spirit. Spirit such as all things, yeah, the deep things of God. Deep things, the things nobody else know about. Spirit such as the deep things. Huh? People ain't going on the surface, but they are not getting in the deep things of God. Amen. Most everybody preaching this morning want to preach hallelujah some oh, Lord. And everybody get a shot. There ain't nobody going into deep stuff. Huh? Deep stuff that make you think. To give you an idea that this life can be better for you. But this life that you're living in can be a better place to live. Amen. Deep things of God. Let's go deep. The deep revelation of God. That's not a revelation, but a deep revelation. Not of the wisdom, but a deep wisdom. Not of the wisdom, but not of the deep knowledge. Oh, Lord. Then we want to say deep things. What man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Now that's what you went to school for, you know, all the man know, and that's it. You can know that. What he know, what she know, you know. Huh? You get it. Get all he got. That what Paul said. But what knows the, the things of a man, except the spirit of man which is in him. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Things of God knoweth no man. Man don't know this. God, only God knows. Huh. He can know things of a man, but you can't know the God things of God, then you seek God. And you seek God, 
then you can know the thing that God give you. Amen. That's how to like that. Even the things of God. Know it no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of this world. Uh uh. See what I'm talking about? I'm trying to get y'all to see. Don't get mad at me because I told you. Don't get the spirit of the world. What made you better than everybody else? That made you better here at Milk and Temple than anybody else. It wasn't the spirit of the world that made us death free. Wasn't the death of the uh, spirit of the world that gave you a good car? And 95% uh, of your people got a house. Things of God. The other man preaching, he said, preaching, he was surprised. 95% of the people were living in an apartment. Nothing wrong with an apartment, but I said 95% were, living, were rent. He didn't know that. He thought all his people were prosperous. And he had been hooping, and his hoop wasn't getting nothing. Huh? I could hoop all the time and shot you over the building. But you leave here, you wouldn't have nothing but a shower. You should get something out of what I say today to help you for tomorrow. Huh. I mean, they just say you should get to receive a blessing from God that would take you to the week and you realize that I got something today that I'm going to see with a little what. Put it away. Put the blessing of God away. This is what he said here. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of God. Then what? That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. That we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. We know what God going to freely just give it to us. Freely give it to us. Amen. This is what they make this thing so good. You know God going to freely give. He no strength for God to give you nothing. He doesn't, amen, uh, take that away from God because he bless you. He can freely give it to you. Amen. Give it to God. We say, also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Y'all get that? I think which man's wisdom do what? Teaches. See, man don't teach this. It come from God. Now you get the point what I'm trying to say? It come from God. Man's wisdom don't teach this. It's not something that you're not, amen, making you feel bad, amen, because you got a, the plume on the wall that won't work for you. It ain't making you feel bad. Let you know you can do better. Huh? See, a lot of times we walk around in pride and ain't got nothing. That's as dumb and ignorant as we can be. We in pride. <laughs> huh? We in pride. Pride over nothing. Hey Amen. That's what the Bible says. The world don't have nothing to be proud of. Huh? You want hard labor. You work hard for your money. Be thankful for all things. That's the way he said just a little more. Praise God. That we might know the things that are freely given us, God. With things also we speak. Not in the words which man will teach, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. You're going right back to the Holy Ghost now. He told y'all today he'll teach. Which thing the Holy Ghost teaches. That way you're going to fall back on. The Holy Ghost teaches. 
And that, 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 where that good stuff come from, praise God. Amen. So which the Holy Ghost teaches. Compare spiritual things with spiritual. Uh -uh. You can start comparing now because the Holy Ghost will teach you. Oh, yes, it's good to know that the Holy Ghost will teach you how to compare. Yes, we, uh, uh, I thank you how to decide. God, we look, we'll go out there and look at your car and decide I want a better car than you got. <laughs> Compare. Compare your house and somebody else's house. Yeah. Well, that's kind of wrong. Compare your job with somebody else's job. Hard labor. Amen. So just got that. Amen. So we can pass spiritual things with spiritual things. So there's nothing wrong with that. So he said we're supposed to be able to comprehend with all saints. Comprehend with all saints. So you can look out there and see, well, you're doing good. Thank God for that. It let me know I can do better. If there wasn't no people doing good, it wouldn't, you wouldn't see your need doing better. you see your need of doing better because you see somebody better than you. Every time you see somebody better than you, it makes you think. Start thinking about it. How he got, how did he get the way he got? How did he get all that stuff he got? Amen. And Paul said, compare spirit's name with spirit's name. But the natural man receives not the things of of the Spirit of God. Y'all yeah, get that? But the natural man, that's us, huh? Natural. The natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolish unto him. He can't get it because they're foolish. Huh? Foolish. If I look at how much, see, when you go to look at how much you know, and you look at how much I got, and then you say, I got it all. And I'm trying to tell you, you can have more. That's foolish. That's foolish you, because you feel like you got the best. And I'm telling you, you can be better. And you tell me I got all I need, and I'm telling you, you can have more. That's foolish. Foolish of me to tell you you can have more than you got when you think you got it all. And that's why we make mistakes at when somebody trying to tell us for our own good, we won't listen. We won't listen. Because we think we know it all. You say, hey, amen. I don't care how much you know, there's still some more room, some more improvement. Can you say, hey, amen? I don't care how much you know, hey, amen. There's always some room for improvement. You always can improve your knowing, your doing in life. You can be improved. You can be made better than you are. Oh, Lord. Amen. About that. The natural man receives not the things of the of Spirit of God, for they are foolish to him. Neither can he know them. Huh? Because they are spiritual design. Spiritual design. You come to a place in life, you know when people are not doing you right. Yeah, spiritual design. Huh? You know when you're getting a fair prize. When we say, then you know when somebody is charging you more than they're supposed to charge you. Yeah, spiritual design. Huh? You can you, you tell how much it's going to cost to do this and how much it costs to do that. 
because you got spiritual discernment. You discern when people are cheating you, take it from you. Huh? Because the spirit will let you know this dude is a is a crook. Huh? You can't let you no know other way and let you go to sleep and dream about it. Then sometimes we get up and ignore our dream. God tell you, you it's a crook. You deal with a crook. <laughs> God done told you that. You still let him teach you. Sometimes I, I, I guess you look at life and we think about it. Sometimes we've been cheated by things God let us know, know we're going to be cheated. Can you say man? But he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man. For who has known the mind of the Lord. Huh? That knowing the what? The mind of the Lord. When you get saved and get victory, you get the who? The mind of the Lord. For who had known the mind of the Lord that he might, huh? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Okay, it's great to him. But we have the mind of Christ. We got who? The mind of Christ. Is that wonderful? I pray you got something out. Listen, they God bless your soul real good. Look to the sand to your feet. And let us pray. Oh God. Amen. Don't forget to read that over. Read it over. Reread it. Father God, we come now in behalf of every person that's here today. And every person that heard the word of God, bless them, oh God. In a special way, give them a milk and give them the wisdom now they need in life to be better. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You may.